Hi, my name is John Smith. I'm a technical marketing engineer here at Humio. And today we're going to do a little more uh, walk the beat exercise. Uh, today we're going to track some installed applications. So if we look at the query here up top, we see that we're using the Humio for Falcon data source uh, the from, via the Falcon data replicator. And the event name is the installed application. And we're just going to make a table of the installed application. So I'm going to go ahead and hit enter here. And we're get, getting a list of all of the different applications that have been installed. Now we'll go over these, but first thing you'll see here is uh, you see Microsoft. If it's a signed binary, typically these are safe, but you don't want to ignore them. But we do see Microsoft and a few other different um, normal, normal application vendors that we expect to see. But what I'm going to do, and like I said, you don't want to ignore these, but I just want to change the aperture a little and make it a little more detailed, right? I'm pretty sure CrowdStrike Incorporated is safe, um, but uh, so I'm going to go ahead and, and prune that off. And what I'm doing here is just changing the aperture to get a little bit more detailed view, kind of peeling that onion back to get an idea of the different applications that we see. A couple of things that we observe here. So we've excluded CrowdStrike, Microsoft, and Amazon Web Services. Again, it's possible someone could create a signed binary and, and try to fool you. But, but here, I just want to prune those out. And I see remote PC. So this is of interest for a couple of reasons, right? Solutions like Falcon X has made life really hard for Cobalt Strike and, and persistence uh, uh, hosted sites, bulletproof hosting sites. So they've taken to installing signed binaries as a way to gain persistence. But more importantly, we're just looking for things that don't make sense, right? These are Windows-based systems. So obviously remote PC could be a way for a bad actor to try to get persistence. It could be an employee that wants to circumvent the remote access rules. So we wanna watch these installed applications. Likewise, Python on Windows, well, uh, that's it depends on the role of the person, but that's something that might be eyebrow raising. Here we see Nmap, that's definitely something that we want to peel back. But the important thing here is that we should always track the applications that are being installed. What we have here is a quick and easy threat hunt, again, to digitally walk the beat, to walk through all of your enterprise and check those non-approved applications that get installed because you might find something. I live in Pinellas County. We had a situation where a water treatment plant was hacked with TeamViewer. So you want to keep an eye on these. Employees will try anything to try to get out of, you know, different policies that they don't like. Some of them are very crafty. And so this gives you a way to track the installed applications on your system. Again, this is John Smith. I'm a technical marketing engineer at Humio. Thanks so much for watching.